Oh, hi everyone. So I'm just hauling our whole crop of bales here. All two of them here. Back to our farm. Got the old trusty work truck going here. But we got to mow some more hay down. Let's get to it. So I'm going to take these back to the farmyard here. I might just give them directly to the cattle because there isn't much use in trying to save them. So I think I'm going to go unhook our uh, 4020 here really quick. We got it on the rake. So the plan is we're going to mow that field down. Right now we got to work on this. Alright, so I'm going to take this bucket off for now, leave it over here, and I'm going to get my bale spear over here, pick it up. This should work easily getting them uh, bales off the back of the truck, but over here, back it up. This is pretty sad, this is our only bales we got, Ooh, there we go. Struggled a little bit there. Better put that down. A little bit of top heavy for this uh, little tractor, I guess, here. I guess we need a weight for the back of this thing. We'll have to take it very slow. So these bales are definitely heavy. But we only got two of them. just put that right here so the cattle probably don't need them now that they can be on grass but we're gonna get them anyways just for when the winter time comes they can use these bales there we go lower that down nicely probably should have our uh, back three point on just so we can get some weight on here all right just put that bale right there cattle will be able to eat it watch out cattle I don't want to have to spear you watch out no spearing going on here good thing is that is the only bales we have so pretty easy doing so I know I did say that I might bail this uh, field here but I plan on actually chopping it so I changed my mind there so we're gonna have my uh, cousin come down and start bailing first I'm gonna do the outside pass like always for her. there we go shut this off don't know if I'm gonna need that or not. That's a dangerous spike to have. Uh, probably should let that down. There we go. No way it doesn't spear anybody or tailgate. This thing hooked up. So we're heading around here. Everything seems like it's working pretty well, so doing the outside couple passes for my cousin when she comes don't know exactly when she'll be here shouldn't be too long as you know we didn't get a good crop off of our other few fields and a lot of our land is actually in grass so that might be a hard uh, take for us but not too big of a deal because we will uh, end up uh, silage this so we can get some more uh, feed. We might have to end up chopping some corn just to make sure we have enough feed for over the winter for our cattle. Continuously doing this outside pass so some of this can use a few rounds it looks like. So we are going to do another outside pass. At least right here we are. 
Watch out for that bunker there. Don't want to hit that, that's for sure. Got some junk I'm going to have to clean up one of these days on this map. There we go. Get as much of this field as possible over here. Everything's going pretty good so far. No issues, so I'm pretty sure my cousin will be able to mow like this. No issues. Oh, looks like my uh, cousin got here right on time. Almost perfect timing for her. Just at this one. I'm really surprised she is going so slow. Holy cow. I don't know if she's watching us. She's going about the same speed. This is as slow as I've ever seen her drive. Somebody has to take note of this. I hope she's feeling all right. Man, that is definitely acting unusual. All right, there she takes off. Looks like she's doing pretty good. She's not really taking too wide of a swath there. Hopefully she fixes that. I don't know. We'll see if she could do better than that. Pretty sure you could do better than that, but oh well. So... We are gonna, I need to pick up some forge wagons at the dealer. So I'm gonna jump into my truck here. And go pick them up. Need to feed Buck before he tears apart the plants. There we go, Buck. Alright, back this up very carefully. Don't want to hit Buck, so we gotta go around his little feed bowl. There we go. Buck don't take no time at all to eat. Oh, it looks like... Oh, man. Looks like Buck might get in the house. Get out of the house, Buck. Come on, Buck. There we go. Buck isn't an inside dog. Man, we gotta mow his front yard. You can barely see. Alright, we're just pulling up here. on into the dealer so we got these two forge wagons 980s GAHLs double rear axle one thing bad about these things is they don't have a hitch on there don't think yep I don't see a hitch so we're gonna have to pull these one at a time pulling the new forge wagon out here Easily take it out. Of course, put her blinkers on. So this thing is definitely bigger than our old ones, so should have a pretty good amount of uh, forage we could put in it. Yeah, I just looked down and I was speeding. Definitely don't want to go this fast with this type of trailer. Definitely get into trouble. Got to slow it down a little bit. There's my cousin at over here. She's still going good. Looks like she has a few rounds left. So we'll pull this uh, forage wagon right over here. There we go. Now we just have to go get the other one. Man, is that forage wagon high compared to this truck? Ooh. Even on Jim's truck, this forage wagon would look high. I think just looks giant compared to this little truck. So now that we got both of these forge wagons basically almost home. Pull in over here. Got to go get our uh, chopper ready. Don't know. Well, there's my cousin making another round there. We're going to have to rake this or not. Thinking maybe we will. Just because them rows ain't very wide. Yeah, probably should uh, end up raking some of this. So we will probably rake a few rows first here. And then uh, once uh, my cousin gets done, I'll put her on the rake. 
raise up that uh, giant spear. All right. Breaking now, that's for sure. All this nice and neat. Don't know exactly how big our rows will be. Don't know if I'm going to combine multiple rows together or not. It's kind of fun now that both of us are in the field. Kind of feels like a family farm now. So, probably should have gave her the raking job and me the bailing job, but she's doing pretty good at bailing. Better her than me. I don't like that freaking constantly turning with the neck. Nowadays they have the swivel seats that definitely are more of a neck saver. So, was trying to grab three uh, rows, but it kind of stopped that because I'm not really going to be able to grab three rows that great. All right, already started on the second round here. Gonna easily be able to catch up to my cousin. She can uh, basically go about the same speed as me, but only about one third as wide as this rake. Don't know exactly how much we will end up getting off of this field, but I'm hoping a lot. Hopefully it won't be too much. Hopefully it will all fit in our silos there. Alright, so I think I'm just going to leave this John Deere right here for now. Hopefully it won't disturb my cousin. So now I'm going to go grab this... Uh, New Holland, 1915. Sure sounds like it was made in 1915. This is a cold-blooded machine. Yeah, there we go. Starts up sooner or later. Definitely got to let this thing warm up a little bit. All right, going to back up to our first wagon here. All right, should be ready to go. Now we just gotta get over here, start this old girl up, put it in gear here. Seems like she's running now, hopefully at least. So we made a mistake. So basically this hay is way too dry for good chopping so I decided to for better fermenting and everything I'm just gonna put on the head and I'm gonna chop it this way it's unfortunate but we can always just bail this up so once I get out of the way I'm gonna have my cousin finish up raking and then I might have her help me uh, move these uh, the forage wagons back and forth to the silos alright so we're mowing along here not making great time unfortunately but we are filling up that back in uh, leaving some strips there bad bad not crazy about a sickle bar but basically this is about the nicest you're gonna get on this chopper not gonna get no disc bind on the front of this thing I was hoping to put most of this into silage, silage but it would probably work out because we definitely need some more grass bales anyways so either or work out to our advantage definitely takes longer with driving this sickle bar almost got a uh, full load just about three-fourths not too much problems yet other than uh, our uh, hay being a little bit too dry going laying down.
chopping along here. Don't yet have one full forge wagon. Almost so. Almost. Looks like we just hit it. Right there. And we'll go park this over to the side here. Best thing is we got quick disconnect wagons. So we could just leave them right there. We'll grab this other one. Alright, so before we get to that, I got to get a a tractor over here to put on our uh, blower. Alright, start this old girl. Ooh, can we get through here? I think so. Yep, just barely slid through. So we're going to put this over here so we can blow that uh, chaff up there. There we go. Now oh, that's hooked up. So now we're going to get this uh, old tractor yeah. over here. Get this old silage wagon. Get this old chaff wagon over here. Start unloading it. All right, we're just unloading it in here. Hopefully this thing will work nicely. Unloading that whole wagon takes a while, I guess. So got about 12 tons in our silo now. So this really slowed down the operation having to uh, sickle bar this stuff. So I might just not even use this tractor and actually just uh, use the chopper to go unload it. We'll have to see how far we get. We'll start cutting again over here. So we're back into our uh, chopper here. Headed off. Got a, just a little ways to go. Of course, we're still driving the sickle bar. This is an old technology that's still used today. Really for choppers though, disc bind, because disc bind does chew up the the crop a little bit more than a sickle bar always did. But if when you're running a chopper you don't really care about that, so disc bind on the front of a chopper is definitely a way to go. I wonder what's uh, comparable for basically uh, chop grass made into silage. What's the ton difference once it ferments? If it's the same amount of tonnage or you lose tonnage, I just don't know. Maybe. There she goes for a giant freaking knife loader. She's going nice and slow, but that's okay. In no hurry. Unfortunately, we can't freaking chop this up, or at least it won't be good silage anyway. Start this thing back up. 
we still got a lot of field to chop off so we unloaded another load so that makes 24 tons the silage we got off so far making pretty good for amount of volume we are off this field there's my cousin going around so most likely I'll just end up bailing this off right away probably end up chopping up them bales to make silage don't know exactly how much silage I'm gonna get I guess most likely I at least get two more loads hopefully maybe three so that'd be pretty good tonnage off of this field definitely got to make it up after we lost so much off the last two fields we probably should have just ended up chopping that in our other two fields and that would probably have saved us from losing all that volume it's like we're going about the same speed my cousin is up here she isn't going much faster one thing for sure we want to make sure we do is don't get in front of her don't want that freaking thing through the chopper or through us for that means so her cousin didn't really like her job on the out couple rounds there so she's gonna redo it I don't know why but oh well whatever makes her happy it's a race who's gonna win uh oh she's winning She's definitely pulling farther ahead than us. Come on, old sickle bar, you can do it. Man, I think she's blowing us away here. She definitely booking with that uh, rake there. So we got about a half trailer load there. So it looks like my cousin is basically done with the raking. So that is done. We're done with this. I think I'm just going to hook up to the baler. I'm going to bale them bales up. They'll be grass bales. They'll be wet, but we'll just chop them straight up. Oh, it looks like the cousin did a good job parking that nice and straight. He's about ready she... to take off here. Oh, yep. There she's taking off. And I wonder if something's wrong with her. She sure is going slow. Ooh, she's going slow. Never mind, spoke too soon. There she takes off. Alright, so we need to get the round baler hooked back up. I unhooked it because I had a little issue with the magnum here. I think that's remedied. I'm gonna shut off this blower tractor though here quickly. Shut that off. I think I'll just leave that uh, forge wagon right there. But we got this fixed. Now we just have to hook the baler back up. Got the back window open. Makes it way easier to hook up. Alright, got that baler hooked up. Now all we need to do is get to baling. I'm going to get these little uh, bits and pieces over here on the side here. funny that it's actually showing hay. It's odd. I thought this would be grass. Maybe it's just the outside. I did say that this was pretty uh, dry, so that might be the reason. Got our first bale right there. Sorry, it's kind of loud in here with the back window open.
flying around my drone let me know if you like them drone shots or not kind of enjoyed driving it I kind of enjoyed flying it a little bit hard when you're running this baler and trying to fly that drone that is for sure but if you would guys enjoy that type of stuff I will do more of it just enjoy having this tractor as a baling tractor definitely with the foot pedal there uh, with the back window that opens up Beans this is wet hay. We're not getting too much dust and straw or uh, Grass into our cab here but Everything is going really good. This Vermeer baler is freaking a champ so far Looks like we just have about one more round I'm Not sure on my uh, bale count there. I don't have a bale counter so I don't know exactly how many bales we have out here. Definitely have a lot of bales to uh, ground up. Seems like we lost all the paint off of our fire extinguisher there. That's kind of odd. How it just all wore off. Either that or it's like the only all white fire extinguisher out there. One of the two I guess. It's like we got a few amount of uh, grass here on the edges that we're gonna have to clean up didn't get everything look at all them bales out here in the field so too bad this wasn't hay but at least with the grass we can still put it as put it up for silage we we'll just have to grind it up so we're done with the first crop of hay and I am sure glad that's finally done this is one of the worst crops we've had with the rain ruining the yield on two fields and then uh, this hay being too dry to chop up definitely had our issues first crop but oh well it's what it usually happens when you're the first couple years into a farm kind of figuring it out take this baler back over here to the shed and get it put away but thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Oregon thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe see you next time